What is going on? It is Fred from the Red Chair Reviews. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. It is almost the end of June. What is happening to the summer? It's draining away so quickly, but I have not seen you guys in a couple weeks. I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been pretty busy, but we did get a couple things, so I'm excited to share what we got. I also want to give you an update on uh, the DSide Run Out Groove order that I had uh, from uh, about a month ago. I talked about it, and I have an update finally on what's going on with that. So uh, let's get to it. Before we really get into it, uh, you'll see I'm wearing video game stuff because I'm a proud video game nerd. In fact, uh, this hat always prompts other people to say, hey, nice hat. And what, what people are saying is, hey, I'm a nerd too. And I like talking to those people, so I'm excited about that. But being a proud nerd, I have to tell you about this place in my hometown of Gerard, Ohio called Pastimes Arcade. It is awesome, man. Over 600 pinball machines and video game uh, old school video game machines on the floor. So many cool arcade games. Um, just a cool like old malt shop style place. You can order pop in a bottle and just food and snacks and uh, homemade milkshakes. It's incredible. Uh, it's $20 to get into the place and uh, they're open Thursday through Sunday. Uh, Saturday is the best value because they're open from 11 to 11, but you pay 20 bucks and then every machine inside is free. Uh, so you can play all day. You can play. You can pay at 11 a.m. Play till one. Leave. Come back and uh, play some more. Uh, so twenty dollars for a flat fee for over 600 games. Let me tell you, it is hours of entertainment. You will not get uh, better entertainment for that long. Uh, it's way better deal than like say going to the movies or something. If you love games, check out Pastimes Arcade in Girard, Ohio. If you're ever coming through, I think it's a gamer destination. Uh, I think it's going to get bigger and bigger through the gaming community. People are going to be hearing about this place, but you got to see uh, Mr. Burke's amazing, incredible collection uh, of machines there. Pastimes Arcade. Come to Girard, Ohio, Thursday through Sunday, and check it out. You will not be disappointed. It is am amazing. I just love it so much. I've already been there, I don't know, three times, two times, and I will go back. Um, I'm probably going to get a membership to be true on there because, uh, man, it is some good, good time, old school pinball game fun. Now, on the not so good, uh, many of you may remember I bought this crazy big DSi box set from uh, my my friends at Run Out Groove. I like that, I like what they do. But this one arrived uh, super smashed, as you can see. Um, and this is a limited run of 200. Uh, I told you I sent a message hoping that they were going to maybe have a replacement they could send me. I didn't want them to refund me any money. Uh, they're gonna refund me money. 25% back. So I got 50 bucks back on this box set um, that he said they don't have anymore. And it just sucks because when you get a box set that you want to keep nice uh, and, and it arrives to, you know, damage, obviously this is more than 25% uh, damage as far as the value of the box set. But I mean, I'm going to open them and listen to them. So I guess it isn't a big deal, but I really hope Run Out Groove will package things like this, uh, you know, with corner protectors and bubble wrap. They just threw it in a box. And, so, and they'd never done that before. I was really shocked by it actually because they're they're usually pretty reputable and, and pretty careful, but this time they were not. Uh, and they just, to save 30 cents, uh, you know, now I have, uh, they did refund me some money, which was nice of them, but man, I really wish uh, they'd have packed this better. So if I order from Run Out Groove again, which I'm sure I will, because they have a lot of cool releases, I'm hoping they package it better so uh, we don't get any more of this. Bummer on the DSide box set. Uh, but uh, I'm still gonna listen to it because uh, I guess I can't get a new one. So here we go Next on to some video game purchases. Uh, I've been getting some old-school games. I got fat princess fist full of cake for the PSP <laughs> and, and Loco Roco uh, These were all I think like six bucks or five or six bucks each I'm just kind of going back and getting old-school games and, and adding them into my collection downstairs uh, And this is pretty cool, man. I'm excited to play these. I played Loco Roco actually on uh the uh, PlayStation uh, Plus the other day, uh, kind of played it, uh, the original, and it's fun, man. You're just like this yellow ball rolling around, making weird noises, uh, and and kind of like splitting up and then re-emerging together, eating these characters and growing larger. It's it's really cool. It's a pretty fun and zany game, kind of a puzzler, and that's fun. Cool. Also, I got the old school uh, Seek and Destroy uh, for PlayStation Two. You just drive around in tanks and blow stuff up. So once again, five or six bucks. I can't go wrong with that. So those are the three games I snagged uh, over the last week and a half. If you saw my unboxing, you know that I got uh, five Amorphous records. I'm not gonna go through these uh, super detailed again, but uh, if you wanna go back to my last video, you could see me unbox the Amorphous records. And also the Rejuvenated Fear Factory has been re-releasing and releasing. Uh, this is re-industrialized, one of their remix albums here. Uh, and then of course we have Mechanized here on vinyl. 
So I, there are some records that I don't know if they're ever going to be released on vinyl because I don't know who owns the rights to all that stuff now, but Dino Cazares has been uh, releasing some of these things again. And anything I don't have that we didn't already have, we're picking up. Uh, so some colored vinyl here, beer with black splatter vinyl and clear with black splatter vinyl here, limited to 750 each. Uh, pretty cool Fear Factory uh, records to have uh, on wax. This next one's probably not really required, but uh, Jerry Cantrell has re-released, uh, I think it's the 20th anniversary of his solo record, Degradation Trip. Had songs like Anger Rising, which is a really popular tune, and Angel, Angel Eyes also. Um, there's a lot of Gone, Psychotic Break. Those are all really cool songs. But he's released these deluxe uh, versions. Um, you know, it's like the, the two disc uh, re-release with new artwork. Uh, he also put them out on vinyl. This is the uh, copy from his website, which is still up there. I think it's 70 or 80 bucks. Uh, and this is the limited release from Revolver. Uh, only 500 copies of this uh, Seafoam Green. However, surprise, surprise, they just put up a couple days ago a uh, Mint Green 500 limited release. So I think even Revolver is kind of like releasing limited things. And then once they sell it quickly, they go, oh, another color also limited too. So uh, it's, it is what it is. That's just the, that is the, um, the industry right now. The vinyl industry is... Uh, milking it for all it's worth. Uh, I understand that. It's a business. Someone who's not milking it for all it's worth is Hayden, a uh, Canadian singer-songwriter. I got his newest album here, um, which is called Are We Good? You see it's signed in gold ink here on the front. This is a uh, limited to 500 special edition with lyric book. Really nice packaging in here. The album's really cool too. Uh, kind of like this acoustic folky style. He didn't always do that, but as he's gotten older, he's kind of leaned more into that. But really, a great songwriter. If you haven't heard Hayden, go back to the very beginning of his uh, discography. Listen to some of those um, like late 90s, mid 90s classic records. And really, you could you can no album that he's ever released is bad. So you're gonna find something you like a lot on here. Uh, if you have to hear one song on this, the, his um, duet, well, featuring Feist, he has a song called On a Beach with, with her. Uh, and also Miss Fort Erie is a very cool tune. Yeah, his new record, man. It's excellent, one of my favorites this year so far. So I'm happy to have this on vinyl. I don't have all of this stuff on vinyl because some of it's really hard to come by, unfortunately. Hint, Hayden, please re-release that stuff on vinyl. I'm ready to buy it all. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. We want more vinyl. And that's it, that's uh, my most recent pickups over the last week and a half or so. What have you been listening to? Tell me, is there something I'm missing out on, something I really need to check out? Uh, some people have told me that I need to listen to that Extreme record and it's uh, pretty cool. You know, it's good to see them bring back this like ultimate guitar rock nudo shredding uh so there's some cool stuff that's been coming out but what else i check out any new video games i should be checking out any old video games you recommend please tell me because i'm always looking to expand my collection i hope you guys uh take care of yourselves and have a wonderful july fourth of july on the way so celebrate and have a good time